Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth tutorial of AD Forever. We are going to teach you the cow animation technique this week using different resources available. Let's get started! First, prepare the following images. A plane, a pilot from various images, some decorations, the sky with some clouds. You can download the materials from the internet, shoot your own or even draw them yourself. When you have the materials ready, create a new project. Set the frames to 1 and let's get started. Click on layer 1, import image of the plane to this layer and carefully cut out the shape of the plane using the crop tool and copy it. Add a new frame, move the plane to where you want it. Adjust the size and paste it. Turn on the onion skin so we can take the previous frame as a reference. Continue pasting it frame by frame to complete the plane animation. You can move it around or rotate it to give a different effect. If you want to make a loop animation, connecting the first and last frame, you can move the first frame to the end of the set. Turning on the onion skin and select the middle option for viewing the previous and next frame. Insert a new frame and position a plane between the previous and next frame. When you are done, move the first frame back to where it was. Now we have completed the plane section. Next, we are going to work on the rest of the components. Go back to frame 1, go to layer 1 and delete the image of the plane. Import the image of the character, crop the body and copy it. Go to the next frame, adjust the size, position it and tap paste. Now repeat the above steps and place the body parts onto the plane frame by frame. Go to the next frame, reposition and paste. Then, we can apply the same method to the rest of the animation. Cropping out the parts you need from the image, adjust the size, reposition it on each frame according to where the plane is, and paste. This is basically the cutout animation technique. After doing the body and arm, it is time to do the head and we have chosen a dog. Once you are done with the plane and the pilot, you can insert your own background image to the background layer. Feel free to use the brush to help and create desired effect. Then go back to the first frame, add a cloud that is moving backward to enhance the illusion that the plane is flying forward. Use the brush to draw your own cloud. Use the cutout technique again to crop your cloud and paste it. Go to the next frame and select layer 2. Place the cloud to the far left and slowly move the cloud to the right in the following frames. If you want to add more dimensions and depth to the animation, go back to frame 1 and draw a huge cloud. Apply the cutout technique for this cloud and paste it on the far left on layer 1. As this cloud is closer to the audience, it should be moving faster than the other one which means that this cloud has to move more in each frame. Remember to go back to the first frame and delete the reference image. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you for watching this week's tutorial. Now it's time for you to live out your imagination. Looking forward to seeing you again next week.